Since 2008, the Eden Tree Responsible and Sustainable Bond Fund has invested responsibly and sustainably. That is to say, it incorporates values as well as ESG ethics. And by that, we mean it takes out your typical sin stocks, the alcohol, tobacco, gambling, whilst commending companies and issuers positively on business ethics, corporate governance, community, human rights and labor, employment, amongst others. Where possible, we seek to integrate sustainability as much as possible via the themes of education, health and well-being, social infrastructure, as well as sustainable solutions. I would say what sets us apart uh, as Eden Tree over the last um, three decades is the fact that we engage and we have a long heritage in engaging to catalyze change, but also to embed best practice in the issuers via whom we are investing. Whether bond investors have been slower than equity investors in incorporating sustainability, I think has to take into account where bond investors sit on the capital structure. You find most companies when entering this space, um, for instance, in clean energy, issue equity well before they are mature enough to issue debt instruments such that they have to demonstrate more cash flow profile, more profitability um, compared to their equity counterparts. And so I'd say the demand is strong. You only need to look at the uh, record demand on green bond issuance to gauge the bond investor appetite for sustainability. However, um, the supply has been a bit on the slow side. And so you're seeing that, that catch up right now. Out of COP26, we're looking for stronger, nationally determined contributions. That is to say, we want the momentum that countries have shown thus far to be even stronger than it has been in the past for the countries themselves to meet their net zero um, targets. We think the UK has been quite ambitious and has led um, in this drive. However, we're looking for more science-based targets. We're looking for more carbon emission um, reductions to be put through. And at a portfolio level, what that means is we're engaging with our issuers to ensure that they're not only setting science-based targets, but these are ambitious. And so there definitely needs to be a drive towards stronger um, contributions, but also for the momentum to carry um, forward as well. <music>